Michelle reporting for Kids Pick Flick, and I'm here at the premiere of Disney's Planes, a spinoff of Cars. Just in a few minutes, the stars are about to touch down on the runway. Get your engines ready. Now, two right. quick hi. questions. Hey, hi. I mean, since I already saw you before, I asked really deep questions. <laughs> we had a great interview before. You may have seen it. If, if you didn't have a chance to, then go back. This is a future big time journalist, right? Thank you so much. Absolutely. Well, now in the movie El Chupacabra, he tries to serenade a girl yes. um, by writing poems, by singing songs. So, what's the craziest thing you've ever done to get a girl's attention? I took a, a girl out one time, and I remember I was borrowing my mother's uh, car. I had to borrow her. She had a, a 1970s. Lincoln Town car, just this huge, huge car. And I went and I bought a stuffed animal and I put it in a brown paper bag and I hid it in the engine. And then I pulled up to her house and we drove down the street a couple of miles and I said, did you hear that? We pulled over on the side of the road. I said, will you help me to figure out what, what happened to my engine? She was like, what are you talking about? And when I opened the hood, I said, can you grab that bag out? And so she opened it. I said, oh, I ran over a bear. Oh, that is so sweet. I'm here with... Gabriel Iglesias, how are you? Yeah, tell me more about your characters. Thank you. You're probably the first person that actually pointed out characters because everybody's like, tell us about the character. Uh, well, it's Ned and Zed. Oh, really? How is he? And I'm like, it's two people. <laughs> it's two planes. Yeah, it's two planes. I'm sorry. Thank you. Now I'm being corrected. Um, one of the characters is my regular speaking voice, this one. And then uh, the other voice is really out there. He's just like, hey, bro. <laughs> Super clueless. Kind of me uh, half the time. So Dusty dreams of racing, but he's so afraid of heights. And yeah. so what's something that you've always been afraid to try? I've also been afraid of heights. So I really identified with Skipper greatly. Yeah, and when when Skipper tries to convince Dusty that he can do it, that he can, you know, he just has to believe in himself. If he believes in himself and he knows that everything's going to be okay, that he's not going to crash and burn, you know, that he's, he'll be safe. He just has to go for it. And I think that's one of the most important messages in this film. Skipper is a great mentor. Yeah, I love playing him. There's a, there's a line in the movie where he says, it ain't how fast you fly, it's how you fly fast, right? That's right, good for you to remember the line. <laughs> and so how do you, what's your advice on flying fast and doing what you love and staying grounded at the same time? I think you have to really take everything into consideration. You have to, you have to look at the, the, the positive and the negative. You have to stay in balance. Balance is the most important ingredient in terms of any kind of endeavor, any kind of, you have to look at the, the things that you need to get better at. You have to also know what you're good at and what you feel confident with and then what you have to work on, the things you have to work on. And to have the discipline to do that is the hard part for all of us. Yeah. That's really great advice. Where do you get your inspiration? Well, the big inspiration came from the world of aviation. We're all big aviation enthusiasts, everyone from, you know, Clay Hall, the director, on down through the rest of the crew. Uh, you know, the world of planes is just something that we love, and to be able to marry that with the world of cars was something that we were really excited to do. So what's your advice for young riders out there? I would say my biggest piece of advice for anybody wanting to get into this is just follow your passion. If you love what you do, then no day is work. It's it's always you know more like play, uh, coming to work at a place like Disney. And I think if you love what you're doing, every day is easy and success will follow. The stars are leaving the runway to head inside the theaters. Planes takes off August 9th. I'm Cassandra Shaw reporting for Kids Pick Flicks. Thanks for flying with us.